Hello, hello, Crafty Mantis here, and welcome back to another episode of Life in the Village 2. So in the last episode, I ended up having Case build this lovely little hospital here with Landry as our doctor. And I also ended up building a greenhouse myself, which is, you know, which was super fun. I was really glad to actually get into some building myself as <laughs> Case has definitely been doing most of the building. And speaking of Case, I have definitely kept Case busy, you know, oh, you know, in between episodes. And so I had case update or upgrade two of the towers. So we've got this tower over here and this tower over here, which are now level twos. I was hoping that I could hire more guards, but it's not liking me to do that. So it's like, oh, okay, well, <laughs> apparently that's not the time. Dude, I put, really? Okay. <laughs> I was like, I put trap doors here for a reason. And yet somehow Daisy still got in. <laughs> And to go swimming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These guards are going to drive me nuts. <laughs> I might have to put a fence around the, you know, this in order to try to keep them out. Oh my gosh. You guys, you guys are driving me nuts. Are you going to come over here, Chloe, and go in? Maybe? <laughs> oh, okay. No. She's not going to go for a swim. She's usually the one that decides to go for a swim. But yeah, so I ended up adding these wisteria trap doors. I really like those. And we'll actually get to the wisterias over there in a moment. But yeah, so I had Case go ahead and update both of those. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I, I also had him put in a house for Landry over here. So Landry's house is actually right next door to her workplace. So that works out really well. And while Case has been working, I've been putting in more grass. So I got this entire block all done. I started working on this one. Haven't, yeah, I didn't get very far. I ran out of dirt. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, I need to go back to the resource area. I might need to expand the resource area because, yeah, I'm stealing all the dirt and stuff. And, yeah, quickly running out. Now, what else did I have Case do? Uh, oh, I had him. He's currently working on this right here. So this is the second stage of the the storage warehouse. And then also this right here. So this is the courier's hut, which is now a, a level two, which is awesome. So now we got level two on both of those. Granted, in order to get the rails, we need a level three. But I found level three actually contains nether stuff. So I'm going to need to go and do a whole bunch of mining and stuff in the uh, nether to get like bricks and, and all of that. So that is going to have to wait, which means that the, you know, the, the colonists actually being able to use the rails will have to wait as well. But we are doing we are doing pretty good so far. So let's head over here. You guys might notice there's some changes over here. <laughs> just just a few. But I've been playing around with some landscaping over here, and then I've also started putting in a uh, like a fence around here, because the barbarians, the barbarians are fine. I could take care of them, but it is the pirates that are the biggest problem because their ships have spawners, and apparently I've leveled up enough with the village that it is now one that has like four spawners. And it is a pain in the butt. It is seriously a pain in the butt to try to get rid of. And so I need to, you know, because I wanted to figure out a way to protect the citizens. And then, you know, that way the pirates can sit here and go, ar, 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 ar. And yeah, not have, I don't have to worry about them coming in and actually attacking the citizens. So um, that is what I am oop, attempting to get set up. So that, yeah, I don't have to worry about my, uh, my citizens getting, getting attacked and all of that. So I still need to figure out what I want to do here because this right here, this is going to go into where the docks are going to be. And this is just a spiral staircase that goes all the way down. If we just do, 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 all the way, all the way. And then my plan is, oh, um, other than having a dark area here, my plan is to have the docks come out here. Um, and especially, I mean, this is usually where the pirates end up coming. So this is, you know, this actually works out really well for that, which is, you know, I think, well, a work out really great. And yeah, so that is, you know, kind of what I did in terms of just like the building kind of stuff and not, you know, not too much. The biggest concentration I had was on the landscaping. So let me, 
let me go ahead and sleep here real quick and I can show you guys what I did. Now, the biggest thing today is I want to go exploring. There were a few things that, you know, a few places that I found that I really, you know, I really want to go and explore. Uh, so that, you know, as Case is building stuff up, I don't necessarily have to worry about, you know, yeah, um, building stuff my myself. Uh, we still, yeah, there's still a lot of things that need to be done, like the glass and all of that, but we haven't, we haven't got any new bees yet, so we need to go to the end, which <laughs> I'm not looking forward to, but as you can see, I have, you know, I have definitely done a lot in terms of the landscaping. I went over to one of the flower biomes and I was, you know, gathering up stuff like these bu uh, buttercups and... Um, the one, these, these right here, the violets, I really like those. So basically what I've been doing is I've been bone mealing and then if a poppy comes up, I replace it with a violet. And then, uh, these yellow ones are native as well as these little pink ones. And so I've just been, you know, then the blues. And so I've been going through and just kind of, you know, putting in the bone meal, adding these sweet peas and stuff just, you know, to kind of decorate stuff up. And then, yeah, it looks like I need to add more string over here as well. But just trying to make the place look really nice. And this is kind of the plan for, uh, for like, the entire area. And so as, you know, as we get closer to, like, the level fives for the buildings, I want to start kind of adding in this as well. Um, this is my area, so I can go ahead and, you know, add in all of this because I know that there's not going to be any more expansion or anything over here. So that is, you know, that is the reason why I've kind of been playing around in this area. Now... Today, I want to go out on an adventure. I, you know, that's one of the reasons why I've got all of these, you know, like Catacomb, Dungeon, let's see, I've got Blossoming Fields, there's, you know, all kinds of stuff that, you know, I kind of found as I was going out and exploring and trying to find some more of, like, these trees. Like, the, the white, the blue, and the purple, those are Wisteria, and then these were the ones that I had before, which is the Frosty Blossom ones. And then I added in Fir and Spruce, so those are the trees that are in the area. And then I'm, I switched over to the fir leaves. I like those a lot better than the spruce. They are definitely a lot more vibrant in this biome. And so that is what I am going to be going with in this. And it's also all lit up too. So that was one of the things that I wanted to make sure of. We've got the glowstone underneath. So yeah, so nether adventure is definitely on the list. But today we are, now that, you know, we've got that all taken care of. Today I want to go on an adventure in some of these other places. So we got a desert temple. So why don't we head there first and then probably head over to the catacomb after that. All right, so here is the temple that I had talked about. So this is what we'll end up attacking first. Oh. As you know, as I just you know, my my pickaxe apparently is a little too uh, OP for it sandstone. So let's go ahead and head down here and see what we can find. I have yet to look at a desert temple here in you know in this mod pack. So let's see what we have. Oh, okay, sweet, sweet. I was actually yeah, I was actually looking for more of the saddles and stuff so that's cool oh wow okay we got all kinds of goodies so we've got more of the the buddy cards so that was one of the things that you know i've been kind of you know wondering about so that that definitely helps and what is this four leaf clover from buzzier bees interesting okay i don't know what that oh oh whoa whoa ah <laughs> loud in the ears okay find a four leaf clover okay that's not helpful to tell me what <laughs> what it's for but, okay, so let's gather up this stuff, and then I guess we need to kind of dump some of this stuff off. Let's see, cool, we got a saddle, that is awesome. We got all kinds of goodies, I'll keep that in my inventory. And then, okay, ooh, charm haste, okay, def definitely cool. So let's do that, and let's go ahead and grab these, and then what is this? Sea infusion, ooh, interesting. Okay, did I get everything else? Yes, okay. So, not anything, like, super, super exciting, but, you know, definitely, definitely good. We got more of the buddy cards, so I'm still trying to figure out what all that is about, but, you know, whoa, oh, oh my goodness, <laughs> I do not know what it is, I get these random lag spikes from here, but yeah, so we got another village over here, so this is actually right next to the Mesa, so we had another one, if we look here... This was the original village I had found. So I was exploring out around here trying to find other stuff. And yeah, so what? Uh, oh, oh, there's another desert temple. Okay, well, I am going to head in that direction and we can go and raid that one. 
So this one is definitely a lot more buried. So let's go ahead and hop down here. And then we can start getting down into our lovely temple here. And it looks like... Yep, yeah, okay. Yeah, because one of the concerns that I always have is if, like, a cave system actually goes all the way through the temple. Because I've actually had that happen before. Where it's like, oh, yeah, well, guess what? <laughs> you, um, yeah, you don't actually get any goodies down here. Oh, look at that. Diamond horse armor. I will definitely take that. And what is this? Tap Ooh, taffy. Ooh, yummy. We got more gems, more sand, all that. Ooh, ooh more black opals. Nice. I definitely wanted those. And an enchant. Oh my gosh, an enchanted golden apple. Are you kidding? Oh my gosh. Okay, and what do we got? Ba backstabbing. <laughs> Lovely. Just the kind of thing that I want. I want backstabbing. <laughs> Alright, so let's that's awesome. We definitely have gotten some good stuff from, you know, from these. So let's grab all that. Oh, oh! Okay. Apparently you get an achievement for that too. Overpowered. Obtain a notch apple. Yay! <laughs> nice. Okay, so backstabbing. I have no clue what these enchantments are, but I could definitely figure those out at a... Oh, I don't... I didn't want to get rid of those because I need to be able to get out of here. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, sweet. So that definitely, definitely, you know, good rating here. All right, so this is the catacomb that I had found. It's smack dab in the middle of the swamp. And so it definitely stood <laughs> out a whole bunch. Cause I'm one, you know, wandering around trying to explore and I'm like, oh, hey, um, I don't think this is supposed to be here. So I went, you know, when I first discovered, I went ahead and I lit up the first room here. It looks, yeah, it, oh, okay. Yeah, no, it looks like some of these don't go anywhere. But if we come over here, there's this chest right here and like we got sweeping edge. We've got, yeah, we definitely got some stuff here and then, oh. What? Dead bush. Yay. And yeah, and then there's this spawner back here. So this is just a regular zombie spawner. So I want to kind of check out the area. Yeah, it looks like some of these are definitely dead ends. And then some of these actually go down further. So let's go ahead and... Ooh, I see sea pickles. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is cool. We've got... Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. It is... It is rather big down here. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Oh my gosh. There's, yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on. And it looks like we got, yeah, we got a cave that runs through it. And yeah, so far I'm not necessarily seeing like other spawners. Oh, what is, oh, what is this? Oh, look at this. We got soul sand and okay. All kinds of, um, skulls and stuff. I'm not seeing any spawners. Let's double check around here because I don't need anything kind of... Oh, okay. We got something that goes down there. Looks like there's flowers down there. And then definitely another cave system. Ooh, I am out of... I am out of torches. Oh, dear. So this is this is really cool. Let's... um, Let's see. That just says chest. End veil. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Definitely... Definitely some interesting stuff. And then, okay, yeah, so definitely not, like, the best stuff, but, like, End Veil, that, okay, that is, oh, I wonder if that has something to do with, like, um, oop, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, like, the Enderman can't actually, like, see you? That would be, that would be fantastic. That would be really fantastic. And this is a lot bigger than I had anticipated. Holy cow. And, oh, ooh. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to kind of hop over there like that or not. Okay, and then we've got, oh, we got another spawner here. Oh, well, we got more spawners here. Oh, my word. Okay, quite the renovation. Um. Oh, I wonder if this, oh, okay. What, okay, what is this? Find an upgraded monster room. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got all kinds of goodies in here. <laughs> Holy cow. All right, sweet. Okay, so we've definitely we've definitely hit the uh, mother load in terms of being able to find different things. Holy cow! Oh, and name tags, awesome! I yeah, I definitely need more name tags. I don't know if we can actually craft those in here, but yeah, there's definitely there's definitely a lot of stuff in here. So I think what I'm going to do is try to 
yeah, try to see if there's anything like super interesting because I don't know if I want to go ahead and like have, you know, bring you guys through this entire thing because, oh my gosh, yeah, I am, I am, I'm, I'm getting lost already. So I found where all of the, uh, the spawns were. They're all down here in the, the other layer of the catacombs. So this is, this is actually a layer below where I was. Oh, and it almost, it looks like we've got a, um, a mine shaft as well over here. Yeah. So definitely, definitely lots of stuff going on in the catacombs. I didn't expect a, a second level here, which is, you know, which is really cool. So, uh, though it doesn't look like I, yeah, there doesn't look like it's all that big, which is, you know, which is kind of, you know, which is kind of disappointing, but Hey, that is all right. Ooh, okay. So, all right. So it is definitely a worth coming down on to the, you know, well down, I should say down into the second floor of the, the catacombs, because these things right here, uh, they have, you know, some of them will have spawners with the skeletons that have swords, but you've got these chests right here and I ended up finding diamonds in one and an emerald in another so it is definitely definitely worth coming down here now I keep hearing a zombie that I can't seem to find but I am not I'm not going to be too worried too worried about him because yeah I'm not I yeah I'm we've already explored all of the catacombs down here so I'm going to double check to see if I caught all of the rooms or not and then you know and then I can definitely you know yeah, kind of go from there. If I've missed, if I haven't missed anything, then I am going to go ahead and head in the direction of home. So that was definitely quite the adventure. Now we definitely did get a lot of the enchanted books and oh my gosh, I didn't realize that my, <laughs> I think I need to repair my helmet. Oh my gosh. Yeah. They seriously beat up on that. Holy cow. Yeah. I definitely need to get more I need to get mending. I need to find villagers. <laughs> but that's, we're, we're off topic there. But I wanted to talk about were the actual book. So we got some of the higher enchant. So we got like fire aspect five, which is really cool. Unbreaking five. And then let's see, frost walker six. I don't know how that would work. And then I also got some of these weird ones. So we've got floating. Not sure what that is. And then end veil. And then we've got some of these, the colored ones as well. And then we got backstabbing for the regular ones. And then these ones. So scavenger, occult aversion, and sea infusion. I, so I think, I think these ones are, yeah, they're apotheosis ones. So I will definitely have to check to see what these ones do because yeah, I've never, I've never, I've never had it before. So definitely lots of interesting things that we could, you know, end up kind of exploring with these. Like this is only, you know, it only works for the swords. So definitely lots of new enchantments that we can end up using on our stuff. Now, in between episodes, I'm going to hopefully upgrade some more of this stuff. Case finished off the, you know, the warehouse. So that is all done. So I'm probably going to go through and like upgrade the... The guard towers, you know, I think I have three more that I still need to, three or four more that I still need to upgrade and try to get those upgraded as well. And then try to get, yeah, some of this stuff, you know, up and moving, like, especially like the tavern. I think that's still level one. So we do, we do still need to upgrade a whole bunch of stuff. And then I think... Um, I don't think I have any active research going on right now either. Now, one of the things I did want to show you guys, I picked up the skeleton and the zombie skulls, and apparently there are purple um, advancements for that. So, yeah, so I ended up getting those, which is like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so definitely, definitely a whole lot of fun, you know, kind of taking a break from, you know, from building and working on the village and all of that or the colony and just kind of getting out and enjoying some of the stuff. Granted, I do have other like dungeons. That's the catacomb that we did and then dungeon and then an underground village, which, you know, would, yeah, which we can definitely end up going to at some point. I'll probably end up removing these waypoints because I, yeah, they absolutely drive me nuts. But I wanted to keep them up until, you know, until this episode so that we could actually go and explore those. So I definitely hope that you guys have enjoyed this adventure today going out and, you know, just kind of getting our butt kicks and, you know, in a catacomb and all of that. 
And yeah, and then getting all kinds of phenomenal loot. So I will definitely continue working on, you know, adding in the wall around the, whoop, around the, uh, you know, colony here and try to protect us uh, from the uh, lovely pirates and all of that. And yeah, so I definitely hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you did, definitely hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, click the mantis icon to subscribe, then hit the bell button to get notified when I put out additional content. Want to check out more of my videos? Try the one on the left, or you could check out the playlist on the right. That's it for now, but I'll see you guys in the next episode.